here. I was diagnosed 10 years ago with fibromyalgia. Now, for many of you that don't know what fibromyalgia is, it's pain all over your body. You're never without pain. You have what they call brain fog. It's so hard to think. Someone could be talking to you, and before you got up to do it, you don't, know, you don't remember what they said. And then reading the Word of God, you read it, but you, and read it, and read it, and read it. And it, that it was a constant thing. And once with fibromyalgia, the doctors, they have to give you pain medicine for, for the pain. And I was on 12 medications, so I had to, but, but with the grace of God, I was always able to go to church and go different places with the grace of God. You say 12 medications? 12 medications. Look that way. My God. So Whoa. Apostle Porterfield gave me a flyer. And as I read the flyer, I, I, I started talking to God because I had been believing God for a healing. And one of the doctors that I had said that I would be in a wheelchair within a few months. But I believe God and I, I believe in prayer. So I continued to pray. Amen. And I began to press and press and go on. Amen. So after she gave me the flyer, I, I got and I came here. And I was sitting in the seat I'm sitting in now. Mm -hmm. And I said, God, I said, if you be God, I said, let them call by the my angel. I said, then God, you heal me. And she called, the first thing they called out was fibromyalgia. So I came up here, and he, he, they really didn't lay hands on me. They just stood up on me. And then I think he blew. And I went down. And, and, she, and, and Prophetess Victoria said, is there anything that you couldn't do? And I told her, I couldn't stoop. Well, now I can stoop. I can walk. And with fibromyalgia, if it's cold outside, your, your, your bones ache even the more. If it's warm outside, your bones ache even the more. So you're constantly in pain. You're constantly with brain fog. So they're giving you medication for brain fog. You still can't think. Pain medicine is still. So it's a constant thing. But I thank God that even as I came, I pressed and I came and I received my deliverance. And you know, even when I came today, I left a family gathering and I came because there's some things I still desire God. I thank God for the, for the healing, but I want to go further in God. Amen. I want to Come on. Further Amen. In God. Amen. Come on. Amen. You know, so I can, so people can be set free and heal. You know, I just bless God for uh, Apostle James and Prophetess Victoria. Bless I bless God for Apostle Porterfield for the Thank door being open for them to yeah. come in. You know, yeah. so I just give God the glory, the praise, and the honor for delivering me from fibromyalgia. And as He said, you know, you have to come expected. Have your level of expectation raised to Amen. come in. When you come in, expect God because you pull God. He'll answer you. He really Amen. Does. I just Amen. give God glory. Woo, praise God. Amen.